There we go. Now. Hi. <laughs> Hi cuties. Let me um show you what my next two weeks is like. So basically we're living in this quarantine hotel. Got a little window which is nice, it opens. Got my little setup here. Charlie's sitting here working away. <laughs> this is our messy, messy bed. And wait, can I I'll flip you? That makes it easier. Da da da! Mirror! I'm not gonna show you the bathroom because, you know, it has a tub, but it's small. All that stuff. Thank you for all your questions. Um, day two in here, I'm already going kind of crazy. Charlie is handling it way better than me. <laughs> I actually already got in trouble because I climbed out the window and sat on the ledge. And I didn't know that I couldn't do that. So um, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so let me start answering some of your questions. Uh, oh, let me start with saying so many asked about uh, Jesus Blackpink cover of Habits. And I love it. I really, really, um, I didn't know what was happening. So it was a really, really wonderful surprise for me. Um, I'm hoping that something will happen with it. I don't know, but that would be the dream. So cool. So, so cool. Um, <laughs> okay, here's so I'm going. Cauliflower, how does it feel knowing my friends and I shake our tits to your song every weekend? Um, that feels great. Amazing for me. <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite Kiwi word? Probably Kiwi. <laughs> um... Ooh, this is a fun one. Rich Wind, talk about the hypothetical bar you would open with Charlie. XEX, not my hubby. <laughs> um, oh, wow. It's kind of funny that me and her, I think every time we hang out and party together, we talk about opening a bar <laughs> together. So <laughs> it's a good question. Um, I feel like it would be very sparkly and pink but very dirty too loud um just like loud techno and house music playing but they will definitely have like 90s pop nights we would take turns djing we would have like performances um it would just feel like messy and there will be no like end time there were, we wouldn't close at a certain time we'll be like are people still going then we'll keep staying open um yeah, that's probably how that bar would be. <laughs> and la la la. James Henry I, have you ever had to pee during a show or just went off stage and did it quickly? Oh my God. I mean, honestly, during this, the Sunshine Kitty um, tour was probably the longest show. So definitely at the end, like during the encore, like me and the band, like sometimes the band would have time to... <laughs> run off some some two guys in the band would have time to run off and go pee but me and goose who play keys who would start you know the encore we could not and it would just be like i could feel it like okay i'm maybe i'll pee myself on stage but you won't be able to tell because i'm sweating so much who cares i never did though i never peed myself on stage <laughs> but um i feel like the adrenaline kind of for, makes you forget about all of that like you know when i broke my foot on stage i didn't even i i mean I, it hurt but i barely noticed until I ran off like to for the encore and I was like, oh, fuck, this actually really, really hurts. I need to see a doctor. And then the medic came and she was like, yeah, you need an x-ray because this is most certainly broken. And she was right. So, you know, adrenaline takes away all the feelings of pain and pee and all that stuff. Uh, oh, which country am I currently in? I'm currently in New Zealand. Um, we have to do two weeks of quarantine here and um they actually have a really good system i'm very impressed with um we just how it worked i'm gonna tell you about it even though you might not be interested because <laughs> this is my life at the moment um we arrived in auckland they um right away like we have to wait on the plane for quite a while they divide you into groups you exit they put you on different um 
either you get on a bus and you go into a hotel in Auckland or you get put on a plane, another plane to fly to another city. Like we got to go to Christchurch, so we're here quarantining. And it's like very, you know, they take your temperature, you wear a mask, everyone's very protected. They take care of your bags, you you arrive, they like um, check you in, they check on you every day, taking your temperature, yeah, you get tested. And um, yeah, just really, um, uh, really keep you in, in lockdown and keeping it safe so that it doesn't spread uh, around here. So um, yeah, they feed us, you know, it's good. Um, ooh, Blonde B, do you have sex to your own music? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> and if not, best artist to have sex to. <laughs> um, I do not have sex to my own music. Sometimes, if I have like a playlist on and I've, you know, without thinking, clearly thrown on a couple of my own songs there, it can happen. But um, I don't choose to fuck to my own music, no. I feel like Charlie would probably leave me <laughs> if that happened. <laughs> But otherwise, hmm, I don't know, Blaze, I feel like it's really good to have sex to The Weeknd, um, Rihanna, no, it's a lot of good sexy music. Shows your feet, hmm, I feel like you've seen them quite a lot, but here's, here's... Give me the phone, give me the phone. <laughs> no. Charlie. Oh, it's selfie mode, hang on. <laughs> Give it a nice, nice ankle. <laughs> Look at oh, that Tarantino so show. <laughs> it's so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> he's laughing so hard right now. He loves to fuck with me. Um, let's see. I'm so glad you were the last concert I saw before COVID. How's your foot doing? My foot's doing fine, actually. I can kind of do um, whatever I want now. The only thing I haven't tried since it got like recovered is surfing, but um, hopefully I get to do that here. Um, which boob is your favorite boob? I would probably say the right one. Oh, wait. I think the right one. They're quite pretty equal, I think. But I feel like I favor the right one a bit more. Charlie definitely favors the right one. We'll need to give the left one some attention. <laughs> Ooh, how was it to shoot a movie? Um, oh, you want to give me a toe job? <laughs> sure. <laughs> they need some help. <laughs> um, I mean, I basically been barefoot this whole year in, in uh, lockdown, so they're probably pretty rough rough right now. Um, sorry, where was I? Favorite boo, we covered that. How was it to shoot a movie? It was amazing. It was so um, hard and challenging, and I feel like I definitely want to do it again, but like music is still my main calling, but if I ever get offered something like that again, I'm, I'm definitely jumping in head first because it was such a cool experience and I felt it was really the first time I've done something like so new, like like without knowing anybody, going into something, not, not knowing what to do or how to do it and just having to like really put my trust in whoever was in charge of the project, like the director, Eric, obviously, and like leaning on the other actors, you know, they were really, really amazing to me and so as much as I was so nervous waking up at 3.30 every morning, um, it was like really, really cool. And um, I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, yeah, even if it's in Swedish, you have to watch it with subtitles and you will love it. I hope. Um, all right, Swedish celeb crush. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to say a Kona Pop just because they're my besties and they're so beautiful. Um, yeah, I would love to collaborate with Blackpink. Seriously. I um, There was such an amazing shock when that <laughs> when they did that performance. It was so cool. Um, uh, sorry. 
Who are the puppies you took care of during quarantine? So I'm trying to read through all of your questions here. Um, they they were from Mutt Scouts, this um, charity in in um, California who take in lost, um, abandoned, and puppies that live uh, on the street. So this we actually took in the mom Peggy and her three puppies that were a week old, and um, they were just found in a ditch on the street in Tijuana. So they drove them all the way to us in LA, and then. Uh, we kept the puppies till they were like eight weeks old and then they got adopted and then we kept the mom Peggy who is a fucking weirdo. She's so weird. Um, she would like fall asleep and then her tongue sticks out and then she'll wake up and she'll sit like this and stare at you. Kind of possessed. It's kind of, kind of weird, <laughs> but it's great. Um, oh, thank you guys. Yeah, I love them. Oh yeah, I love Madonna. Let me see what you guys say. Oh, show us your tattoos, please. Well, we got... Wait, let me turn this around. Got my hand. Oh, yeah, this blue band means that my COVID test was negative, so that's good. Got this guy, this guy, and this happy, sad guy, and this... Wait, what am I doing? There we go. This guy, this guy this guy and that's it yeah yeah this mini keyboard is a akai mpk mini i'm kind of sitting here trying to write some songs and come up with um some new music i have been writing some great stuff me and charlie sex actually have had some really really good days in the studio um i've been writing with ali x and banks and it's been so fun um, like really coming up with, uh, some new cool shit. I'm hoping that, um, I can put something out later this year for you guys to enjoy. I also really hope you like, uh, the song I did with Martin Garrix, Pressure. Very proud of that one. Um, and yeah, I wish I could have been in the video, but I think it turned out really fucking cool anyway. Yes, I do smoke weed. Not right now though, because you can't hear. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I just... It's kind of weird being locked in like this, but I'm happy that I married someone that I like to spend time with <laughs> so that we can actually enjoy this time together. Um, is there anything you guys want to see us do? Like give us a like quarantine challenge or something because um, otherwise I feel like we might go a little bit crazy. Some activities would be good. Release tripping out. Watch that one. Huh, thank you. I'm happy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm not going to change my name. Dress up like aliens. That's good. I bought a bunch of glitter, so we could definitely use that to just cover our whole bodies. Make a music video from home. That's also good. Oh, thank you. Uh, my brows, um, I only have, I only use this like, um, um, like brow kind of brush soap thingy. Um, so they just stay up like that. I did put on a little bit of makeup for you because, um, I felt I should <laughs> seize the moment. <laughs> um, okay. I have a couple more questions here from you guys. Um, I just keep rambling because I'm misconnecting with you Ooh, okay favorite show you ever played also worst show um oh my god favorite from ac slaughter favorite show i ever played that is almost too hard um i will say the um, the Lollapalooza shows in South America that was in um, Sao Paulo, uh, Buenos Aires and uh, Santiago were like, it's just like three in a row with this like crazy energy and huge crowds. And it was just like this felt like such a big magical moment. Um, it was just the, the energy and the just like being in those beautiful places. It was really special. Um, and I think we played really well then too. 
Um, and then also I have to say the the Palladium show at Sunshine, with Sunshine Kitty in in Los Angeles that was like the last, <laughs> the last show, last party on earth was incredible. Um, worst show was a private show. I'm not gonna say <laughs> for <laughs> or what, but it was a long time ago, and it was kind of like expected of me to also. MC the thing it was like a bunch of awards this is kind of before I like even like had made a a name for myself but I didn't really they kind of wanted me to also present all these awards to people and so and it was for some kind of like kind of I don't know just like a, a company that did something in with like technology that I had no idea like what to say, what it was about. And they just gave me like notes of like, present this person doing this. And I, it was so awkward and I mispronounced everything. And I was kind of pissed off because it was not what I was being paid to do. And um, I left there feeling dirty. Um, so never again. Um, but yeah, that's probably the worst show. It's like, you know, when touring so was happening, like it really, it just keeps getting better and better, so I can't fucking wait to get back to it. Ah. All right, I'm gonna give you one last question here. Let me see if I can find a weird one. I asked for weird ones. Mm. <laughs> some of these are, some of these are fucking crazy. <laughs> uh. What is a what is a bad habit you picked up in quarantine? That's not very weird, but I don't know if I picked up any really weird habits. I think I'm just like getting stoned and eating like a lot, a lot of eating. Kind of like I've I've become very addicted to string cheese, and then I'll, I never had it before until I moved to moved in with um, my roommates and. Um, Jessie, the girl lives with me. She she bought some string cheese and I was like, what is this? She's like, you've never had string cheese? And I had one and I got completely hooked. For those who don't know, it's a like little string of cheese that's like this thick and you just like kind of string pieces of cheese off it and you eat it and it's fucking delicious. And so I keep eating those and then I kind of like, my dog is obsessed with them. So I'll share one with her, but then I'll end up kind of like, eating like maybe four a day so then she's eating kind of like four a day and then she's starting to get real chonky now which you know you have to keep your dog in <laughs> in shape but we're both enjoying our string cheese bellies it's kind of nice um yeah melted plastic cheese is what it is <laughs> but i love it um yeah okay i'm gonna stop talking now it was so good to see all your lovely hearts and um faces in these little circles and um yeah i miss you all i want to go out on oh yeah charlie opened his macbook so indiscreet <laughs> they heard you <laughs> um i hope to see you soon um i can't wait for the world to open back up so uh we can party and dance and cry together um, yeah, and I will keep you posted on new music and all that stuff. Love you.